the Porsche 911 GT3 RS quite possibly one of the sickest and the ultimate expression of what a sports car is and it has telepathic handling engine note to die for yet it is sophisticated and understated and that's what exactly I think this is for the bike world this is Triumph's Street Triple RS and I think this is the greatest way to express a sports bike in today's modern world The Street Triple RS is the most hardcore, track-focused variant of the Street Triple lineup, just like the 911 GT3 RS. Below it, you have the Street Triple R and the Street Triple S, which can be comparable to something like the 911 GT3 and the 911 GT3 Touring, and then the big daddy, the Speed Triple, which is basically the GT2 RS. But we are claiming it to be the best sports bike you can buy today. But why is that? Well, think about it. This bike has the perfect blend of almost everything. The bike weighs in at a very impressive curb weight of 166 kilograms and the engine produces around 121 bhp. That's damn near close to the ratio of 1 is to 1 when it comes to power to weight. And I mean, that just gives it insane acceleration. Talking about the brakes, at the front you have a dual disc setup and you get 310 mm discs up front which are made to fat 4 piston calipers and at the rear you have a single piston with a 220 mm disc. The suspension is uh, Showa USDs which is adjustable 41 mm suspension uh, and you have a lot of ways to adjust it to make it to what you want. At the rear you have Olin's fully adjustable suspension so you can literally go into the small nitty gritty details of the handling of this bike. And take all of what I've just said into one single sentence and I would just like to say that this is probably the most balanced motorcycle you can buy today in the market. Now, I've ridden a lot of great bikes over the past years, but nothing, absolutely nothing beats this thing over here. There is nothing as sweet handling, as sharp edged and as controllable in the corners as the Street Triple RS. Now, maybe, well, it's not the fastest around the corners, but definitely it's so quick that you can catch up with liter classes easily. Let it be over here on the guards or on the track. Maybe, just maybe the Duke 790 might handle better than this. But for you and me, it's almost the same. Well, the reason why I would pick this over the Kawasaki Z900 or the Duke 790 is just for one thing. It's the unhinged 765 triple. It sounds like a GT3 RS with flat 6 cut in half. In the lower RPMs, the classic street triple whistle is very prominent. But as you start climbing up the rev range, the street triple curates the best sounds you might ever hear. Period. It's as if Tramp has taken John Williams and stuffed him inside this engine and each time you go above 5k rpm he starts his orchestra it's that good and the downshifts oh my god it's like cocaine you know you just can't get enough of it and next thing you know you are hooked onto it the bidirectional quick shifter Make sure that the upshifts and downshifts are very seamless and immediate. And the suspension, what do I say about it? They are, well, among the best in the segment and fully adjustable. Over here on the corners, it's so easy to handle. Well, you're comfortable on the bike. It's as if the Triumph Street Triple says, it's okay, let's have fun together. 
but if you go too hard on the throttle it will be like yeah the fun's over time to get serious the brakes are also class apart they are the best in segment from brembo and well stand on it and you'll regain all the blood that you lost on your face because of the brutal acceleration this bike has on offer well talking about the gearing well this is updated for 2021 so first things first it gets a brand new quick shifter which is well you just slot it into any gear it just hits it it just hits spot on you upshift after a corner exit or downshift before entering a corner it just hits it right it makes sure you have the power and just lets you carve through the corners well again this is focused completely for pleasure and not for touring so the gear ratios are short and well at around 120 kmph it's quite loud and mind you it doesn't have a windscreen so well it gets quite noisy in your helmet once you're post 120 150 kmph well talking about the riding position well it hits the sweet spot it's ne neither too aggressive nor too comfortable when you're ready to go for a corner you can just position yourself and go and do that knee down or if you just want to relax and cruise in fourth gear around 40 50 in the city that is also possible the seats are quite decent but over a long period of time you'll start having a sore bum like i said it's more for pleasure not for touring now don't get me wrong this isn't the prettiest bike out there there are more flamboyant and more exciting designs out there in the bike world but the sheer simplicity and minimalism that triumph have adopted for this new street triple is just what makes it look so good for example all of the creases and curves on this bike haven't gone out without any function like the here behind the seat most bikes will have that blocked off but in the street triple rs they're open which means it's functional and for the 2021 facelift uh, triumph has changed a lot of things here and there for example this area has been updated a little bit with more pointier and shoutier bits over here and uh, the drls have changed as well now you get these praying mantis claws kind of design which looks really nice and aggressive and overall it still has that insect kind of design language inside of it and the proportions of this bike are just perfect some bikes in this class just have huge and bulky tanks over here but the proportions and the design is just very simple and it looks very handsome The gadgets on this bike are super impressive as well. The RS comes with this digital dashboard which has great graphics, is movable which means you can angle it however you want and has turn by turn navigation, SMS readouts, ability to attend calls and even wirelessly control your GoPro. The bike gets four different riding modes, 3 out of 4 don't tamper with the power and mostly change your throttle response, traction control level and slip control, but pop it into rain, the power goes down to 98 bhp to make it easier to ride in wet conditions. Well, we've told you about the pros, what about the cons? It doesn't have any direct cons. Well, the one which is the price factor. It's priced at around 11.35 lakhs ex showroom. and the r is priced at around 9.2 lakh rupees ex showroom when you look at it the z900 costs roughly around 10 lakh rupees on road but that's not what matters what matters is the engineering prowess and the riding pleasure so that's about it from my end what you guys can do is let me know what do you think about the street triple in the comments down below all the links to the merch and the website in the description down below and let us know Do you pick the Duke 790 or the Street Triple? For me, I think it's the Street Triple. Until then, I'll see you in the next one.